Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you another advanced uh, arpeggiator tutorial where we're using the RPG-8 from Reason 4 and 5 um, and we're going to create a sound that sounds something like this. So I'm going to try to recreate something like that. Let's just start off by creating a combinator. Let's go under here and create the combinator. Let's load up our initialized combinator template, which has a line 62 mixer. And then underneath that, we're going to create a Thor synthesizer. Underneath that, we're going to create an RPG-8, because that's the subject of our tutorial. We're going to change this to two octaves, and um, let's change it to three one. Uh, let's leave everything as is for right now. What I'm going to do uh, is over here I have a C major chord, okay, and if we pull it back and take a listen to it, that's with the patch initialized. Let's just do a little, a couple changes on here. Oops. So now we've got the basic bare bones patch um, that's being recreated here. Uh, let's actually do one other thing. Let's take, um, okay, in the modulator section, what we're going to do, I'm just going to actually move this up a little bit first. Let's listen to what that sounds like. <laughs> Pretty good. So now what we're going to do, that's our that's the basic arpeggiation that's happening with um, with the Thor, but now we're going to make things a little bit more interesting. We're going to take uh, the LFO1, then we're going to take the modul modulation envelope, then we're going to take LFO2, and we're going to take the global envelope, and we're going to set these amounts to 100, and the destination is going to be the CV output 1, CV output 2, CV output 3, and CV output 4. Now we're going to flip it to the back of the rack, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the output from these CV sources, and we're going to send them in to the different inputs on the arpeggiator itself. Okay, now let's flip it over. shape things. parameters here and in this way you can create some interesting patches using just the arpeggiation and what it's doing is it's actually going it's using it's basically arpeggiating itself to an extent it's controlling from this arpeggiator and then you're sending parameters CV parameters from the modulation into 
the various parameters on the RPG-8. And that, in a nutshell, is how you arpeggiate a device all in one. It makes for a very uh, compact patch here, and then you can still apply some parameters to your rotaries and your buttons. Hope you find that interesting. And uh, again, I'm Rob. You can come visit me at reason101.net. Thanks for listening.